guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, today's story, another one hits the wall. Um, you know, I've done Reddit stories, I've done news articles. This is actually a video that's getting posted on TikTok. And I think it's relevant because this is where all the young people are today is over on TikTok. Uh, as I've said before, it's where intelligence goes to die. But with young people going over there, and what I thought impressed me about this the most is here's a 36 year old woman that apparently listened to Kevin Samuels, but she didn't take his advice. And then come to find out years later, she's like, damn, he was right. And I didn't listen. And a lot of times when, when guys like ourselves talk about these topics, there's a lot of different men's channels. You've got Fresh and Fit. They like to bring ladies on and kind of roast them a little bit, get the club girls to to kind of do an interview. And then you've got people like Kevin Samuels. And, and I consider I'm not nearly as influential as Ke Kevin Samuels is. But I do try to speak some reason so that maybe some women that decide to, hey, you know what, maybe they're right on this. Maybe they decide to listen to us and clean up their act, act while they're young and maybe can make some guy happy someday. I doubt it, but you know, it's always worth a shot. And that's one of the reasons why I will roast women and make fun of them, but I'd also like them to take some of what we say with a, a grain of truth because what we say, we're men. We know what we're saying. We know what we say is true. And when a man says, look, I have to be the sole uh, provider, at least in a, in a masculine role, what most, most women want the men to be providers, even if they're not traditional in any way. And what, so when a man says, I have to make my own way, I have to stand up for myself, I have to be strong, I, have to, I don't want a woman that's gonna be argumentative or bring home more money because we know the statistics on her sticking around are pretty slim. And so ultimately, what does a man want in that case? He wants a woman that is relatively attractive, usually younger than him, um, you know, feminine, not argumentative. And what happens is women go slam right up into the wall time and time again, and then they look back and they say, damn, I wasted my youth. And here's another example. Uh, before I get into the main story, remember we've got now, what, uh, five, five or six days left on the race to the retreat. We're still in first place, we're hanging in there. But I'd really appreciate it if you jumped over to, to uh, either Jeremy's Razors. You can get the Founder Series, the whole kit now for $29.99. So that's a uh, shaving lotion, a aftershave balm, uh, a handle, eight blades, and a little travel kit for $29. Bucks. And I think it's free shipping right now. So uh, please jump over there. That gives me points. And if, if you're overseas and can't do that, again, uh, get a subscription from Daily Wire. And uh, we'll get 20 points for that. And, and, and we'll get the retreat underway here, I think. So I found this, uh, this was posted by an account that's Sam, uh, Kevin Samuels uh, TV. And it's got 54,000. It's kind of a guy I think that's just kind of carrying on Kevin Samuels work, which I think is a good thing. Uh, you, you can't really make money off of, of Twitter, uh, you know, with accounts like this. So it's not like he's trying to bank in on it. He's just sharing some of the stuff that's it's shared by uh, Kevin Samuels. And uh, he posts here, uh, she regrets wasting her youth and admits Kevin Samuels was right. Now I can't pl click play on the first part of this video because as, as all things on TikTok, they overcut dramatic crappy music that I'll get copyrighted for. But what she types over, over her crying face is she says, when you're 36 and realize them hot girl years didn't get you shit, but felonies and a baby, you're still trying to recoup losses because you didn't build a career or go the good girl route or route, depending on how you say it, and now you're overweight, a single mother, and depressed. I effed up. And I'm just gonna drag, I can't, like I said, because of the, the music, let me, let, me, let me mute that just in case it starts to play. And you can see here, she's wiping her face and she's wiping tears away from her eyes. And then she gets to the part where she talks about this. And I, I do have that clipped separately here. And she says, Kevin Samuels would kind of write and that it's hard for me to admit. I'm gonna just play this through so you can hear it. It hurts being honest with yourself, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is not a pity page, y'all, but accountability hurts. And I know that's the first step. And I realized last night, y'all, I just had a moment and I'm not one of those people that be crying for the camera and stuff, y'all, but I just had a moment and I was like, bitch, you fucked up. It and now, now, <laughs> let me just bring it here. Do you think, she's now she's self-admitted she's overweight. She's a single mother now. And she says up here felonies. So she got with some wrong people in her life. 
Her hair's all jacked up, and she's putting this on video. So, I mean, when, when she went to Hot Girl Club, do you think she went out to the club looking like this? No. She had on the make. She was, you know, 10 years younger, 15 years younger. She had all the makeup on. She was thinner. She certainly didn't look like this. And, and to tell you how much she's given up by this point in life, she's willing to put herself out to hundreds of thousands of views looking like this. And that's the reality, I think, is that at a certain age, I think when women no longer feel like they're going to get the man or, or the relationship and things don't work out so well, they give up. And when they give up, they end up looking like this. And, and I'll be honest with you, I was in a marriage where she kind of gave up. The makeup went away, the, the, the fun activities went away, the bedroom activity went away, and everything just kind of dried up. And, and she gained a lot of weight. I saw a picture of her recently. I bet she's gained at least 100 to 100 plus pounds since we were together. Things change. Things change very quickly. Uh, and uh, this guy, Rich, right here, I, I'm just going to read one comment, and then I've got an article I'm going to read. Women will wait till they're 40, 45, their washed up years, to start cooperating with a man that can do something for them. By that time, it's too late. We start treating you the same way you treated us when you were in your prime. And I think that's a very, very accurate statement. Because what do we mean by this? Men, when they're young, and, and I'm not going to go through the whole spiel again because you guys have heard it, but men, when they're young, they don't have much to offer. But as they get older, especially if they stay single, they'll have money, they'll have, they'll have a good career, they'll improve themselves. And women can do the same thing now today, but the problem is they're not valued for that. They're not, you, if, if somebody told you, hey, this gal, yeah, she's a baby mama. Yeah, she may have a felony and she's a little bit overweight, but she's worth $3 million. Would any of you date her because of that? No. Why? Because number one, we don't value women for money. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple of guys that do, but for the most part, we don't. Number two, we know that we still have to pay for the dates and still have to provide and still have, because that's how women are. You know, they complain about patriarchy and men being one way. Women are the same way. In many cases, they're out earning men. Do they turn around and say, hey, you know what? You're hot. I'm gonna be the provider. I'll be a little bit of sugar mama for you. I'll take care of you. You just keep yourself in good shape and come to mama. Nope, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. And so as much as they complain about us, not changing our ways. You notice they don't change their ways either. I, I pulled up this article. This is from a redacted. And, of, and, and this is what I love so much is that this is written by an Izzy Copes, Cope Steak. I don't know if that's a guy, a girl, who cares? But the, it, the title of the article is Stop Telling Women That the, the Bug Is Wasting Their Hot Years. And this was just written last year. So stop telling w women they're wasting their hot years. But here's the truth. They are. They are. Again, men improve with age, women do not. And if you don't like it, talk to biology. I mean, even if you go all the way to whether it's, and I use these two classes because they're like very alpha male, the male lion that has a pride or the silverback gorilla that has his family. And what happens? A young male always challenges them and eventually the old male loses. And when he loses, he leaves, right? Why? It's, it's in their genes. It, it, you know, ape families and cat families that have never met seem to always work, you know, do the same thing. Why do they do this? Because it's in, it's in the lizard brain, it's in the DNA. Well, men are the same way. Men want fertile and young and curvy and attractive, and, and that's what women are valued for. It will never change. It will never change. Nothing you can do about it. Same way you, you guys can be valued for when they're hot, when they're young. But as they age, a woman may sleep with a really good, young, attractive, hot guy, but she's not going to marry him and take care of him. She wants to be taken care of. And, and that's the, the clutch to this is that women will complain, but they, don't, they, they themselves won't change. Uh, he says, or she says, what they say. If we can agree on anything, it's that young people have been effed over pretty badly by the lockdown. From travel bans to club closures, most activities seen as a chaotic rite of passage into adulthood are off the cards, as they involve gathering in large groups to socialize and often get utterly intoxicated. Most of Gen Z have recognized this as an essential sacrifice to make, 
However, the longing for messy nights out, holidays, and normal dating has encouraged a focus on wasted hot years. And the patriarchy's longstanding habit of equating a woman, uh, equating a woman's youth to her worth. It's not the patriarchy, son. It's the same thing in modeling, in movies, in Hollywood, in advertising. It's the same. And and you can say, well, men are in charge of that. Okay, but who are they selling products to? You know, look at Victoria's Secret. They talked to Megan Rapinoe and some other woman. And they made all their models go to like 300 pounds instead of the svelte sexy woman. And you know what? Their sales fell off a cliff right around the same time. Coincidence? No, other women want to see attractive women. Other women want to buy their lingerie and things like that from attractive young women. It's, it's in everybody's DNA. As far as the patriarchy is concerned, young equals hot and hot equals valuable. Perhaps we should believe it's down to some uh, fertility BS or maybe the more naive we appear, the more vulnerable we are to mansplainers. Either way, society has, has a nasty habit of equating a woman's attractiveness and therefore her worth to her youth in a way that men are simply not subject to. Okay, fair enough. This is a, that is a fair point. Now the patriarchy and all of that crap is completely BS, but the young equals hot and hot equals valuable. Is that true? Absolutely, absolutely. But let me ask you ladies this. So many times on the dating apps and, and everything else we see, if you're under six feet, fellas, don't show up. If you don't have a six pack, don't show up. If you don't have six figures, don't show up. I'm not interested in you. Sounds like you're making it pretty clear that you want a guy to be tall, hot, athletic, and money, and that's what's valuable to you. Do you hear us complain about it? Sure, you sure do all the time. Life isn't fair. But... When we decide, hey, we have a preference, it's youth, women freak out. And why do they freak out? Because there's nothing they can do about it. But as far as I know, there's nothing I can do at my five foot six or seven or whatever I am to become six feet. So do I go writing articles about, you know, women need to change their mind about height? No, it'd be nice if they did. But the reality is that the world works the way it works. And all we can do is find out how best to navigate the way it works. But isn't it amazing when women have this laundry list of things they want in a man, it's called being selective. But when a man wants one thing in a woman, youth and being hot, we'll call that two things, all of a sudden it's patriarchal and problematic. It's just a choice, the same way you ladies have a choice, but they don't like that because there's nothing they can do. No matter how powerful, how much money they can get, you can't fa uh, stop father time. The worry that I'm wasting the currency of youth has been inescapable. With streams of problematic TikTok videos citing uh, dataclism, theories about why men of any age prefer to date women in their early 20s. The idea that you're only hot for a few brief years and then you're invisible seems to be everywhere. That's because it's true. But you notice something. This is a 20-something year old that is screaming patriarchy and problematic men already. Do you think she's going to have any dating success no matter how hot and young she is? Sure, she'll get plowed by hot guys, but do you think they'll stick around to be with her? No, I don't think so. Ooh, where's my I don't think so button? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so, sir. They're not going to be sticking around. In my survey of 143 young women, 67% stated they cons uh, the constant narrative of wasting your hot years in lockdown has made them more anxious about getting older than they were before. The pressure of the patriarchy never seems to yield. For many women, we are only able to escape the awkward burden of puberty and ingrained misogyny of college once you reach your mid-20s, and yet apparently by this point, we've tipped our prime. Now, here's the thing. I'm pretty familiar with all the stories I've read from colleges. The administration is female supporting, the teachers are female supporting, other females are female supporting, and basically if you're a man, you're just about thrown out the door the moment you apply to a college. They hate young men in college. They've made this very clear, especially if you look at Title IX, which allows a woman to accuse a guy of anything, and in many cases, he doesn't even have a right to defend himself. There doesn't have to be any, uh, there doesn't have to be any proof He's just tossed out on his ear without his degree, but also still owing the college all the money. Does that sound like guys are getting all the uh, all the support that there's a patriarchy system going on? Again, 
Women always do this with no matter how good they're gonna get it, they'll always find something to complain about. They'll always find somebody else to blame for their failures. That's how most of these women work today. Not all of them, but a, a big, big number of them. She says it's everywhere from gorgeous women, uh, your brother probably fancies sitting next to a crusty old white man presenting the news. Oh, oh, you can call crusty old white man, uh, you can call us crusty. I don't know, sounds kind of insulting. Uh, to Leonardo DiCaprio dating yet another 20 something from dating to careers, we're told that our youth is prime currency and once we've spent it, it's gone. 100% true. But why do young women date Leonardo DiCaprio? Could it be because he's, uh, someone corrected me, I thought he was shorter. I guess he's six foot something, six one, six two. Could it be because he's six foot tall? Because he's worth probably hundreds of millions of dollars? Because he's extremely famous? Sounds like that young hot woman's getting a pretty good catch out of that. I bet she's treated pretty well by him with all the fancy money and trips and vacations until her best years are spent. But she had an opportunity to be with him Hey, sounds like a fair tra trade. Would that same young hot 20 something go off with Bob the plumber that's 45 years old that maybe is five foot eight? I don't think so. And here's what's funny about this. This gal, she says she was 20 in uh, uh, 2021. That means she's 21 now. That means she's 21 now. Will she always be concerned about her looks and her youth? Yes, Dep despite what she says, yes. Will she continue to, to misuse it and probably not find the right guy? Definitely yes, 100%. Why? Because she's one of these weird intersectional progressive feminists. She's gonna get a lot of guys that like to suck on soy lattes and cry during, I don't know, movies. Maybe during sex he'll cry too. I'm sure that's gonna make her real happy. But she's not gonna find a successful guy until she starts getting a little bit older. Then soy boys aren't gonna cut it anymore. She'll get herself a male beta provider that'll take care of her kids and she won't be attracted to him at all. And then she's gonna turn out just like this gal. At 36 years old, given up, gained weight, probably a kid, maybe not the felonies, and she's completely given up. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's they'd never find out. She See, she's in her prime. So of course she can have the attitude. Of course she can push back. It's just like a, a, a guy that's done relatively well in life that has a ton of money. And he turns to a young man and says to him, you know what, don't worry about money. Don't worry about working your life away. I worked my life away. Yeah, I'm a millionaire because of it, but I worked my life away. Enjoy your youth, have fun. You know, don't worry about all the fancy college degrees or getting into a trade that's gonna pay you a ton of money. Money can come later. Enjoy the women, enjoy the nightlife, enjoy partying it up with your friends. And then that young man turns 30 or 35, he's working at who knows what, as a coffee barista, he barely has two nickels to rub together. And he's like, damn, if I just invested and made money and did well for myself, I'd probably be worth a lot of money and women would wanna be with me now. It's the same thing, it's the same thing. Women are their own worst enemies when it comes to this stuff. Uh, I've got about five more things I'm gonna talk about over on Locals, I don't do it on YouTube because of copyright and. Uh, when I talk about this stuff, I could I could probably get a chat channel strike knowing how YouTube is. So if you want to see the rest of this stuff, join me over on betterbachelor.locals.com. I put it at the end of my videos, uh, so you can always check things out over, over there and become a supporter today. I'd really appreciate it, and that would allow me to get off YouTube. All right, for the rest of us here on Locals, let's jump right into it. Mm -hmm. 